Hey, welcome back to Turbo Talk. I'm Turbo. I'm sitting here at the homestead in the green room in my chair. I have been thinking about my Turbo's Extravagant Tour Series 2, Turbo's Walls, and feel like I need to give you more than just the intros but the plan that I'm going to be following and taking you through over this next bunch of videos. All right, and so one of the things is, is I wanted to tell you why. All right, well, there's people that drive by my place all the time, and they say, what is that? Some of them say, how is it? Some of them say, why is it? Whatever. My place is a grand habitat for the five kingdoms. Plant, animal, bacteria, yep. Um, eukaryotes, prokaryotes, fungi, uh, sea sponges, whatever. My place is my life. And I just want you to know that at my place, I have a house and a deck, a couple outbuildings. But other than that, my place is getting ready to be toured by the walls. It is mostly walls. I have walls that are for protection, privacy, Division, separation, enclosement. Yes. And to have any kingdom, let alone all five kingdoms, you need protection. I have rampart walls, which are protecting me from harm's way. I have buffer walls, which are protecting me from the elements of wind and noise and debris that might fly in. I have enclosure walls, yes, some that are surrounds, that are stopping spying people or giving me my privacy. I have border walls. These walls are to go ahead and separate out different beliefs from side to side. I have petition walls. These walls are to divide something into different spaces. Yes, I have exhilarated walls. Those are so worth and to have fun. And I have perfect walls. A perfect wall would be a wall that was able to environmentally separate. Yep. So... I would like to go ahead and mention another element before I go any further on this particular part of it or stage of it or whatever. I want to say that no matter what, all spaces have to have the sun. Therefore, out of all of my walls, I try to do it in the sense of allowing sun in all right so i want to talk about the sun for just a moment and then we're going to keep on going sun solar is where x x is whatever you want to put in there you're going through a little bit of algebra right now but where x is derived from related to or caused by the sun that's solar That's the sun. If it's measured, it creates time. So without the sun, we couldn't even have time. The sun produces energy. And the root word for all of this is solar. So I want to talk about three derivative words from solar. I'm sorry. All right. The first one is solarism. Solarism is an interpretation 
of some folk story or ancient legends that is explained by the nature or the action of the sun. All right. I want to talk about solarization. Solarization is the conversion of the use of the sun's energy or power. It has been written that if you was to cover something with a plastic membrane, you would have created solarization and the use of the sun's plant and energy. Last one. Solarium. That is a space that allows in the sunlight. A space for solarization. A space for the action or the acting of a solarism. So therefore, by stretching a 6 mil UV poly, R factor, anti-drip, B per motion pollinated polymembrane or film over the spaces between my walls, I will have created all these opportunities to use the sun's energy to be solaristic. Yes, that's what I have. My solarium. All right, here we go, back to the walls. So, with all that, I want you to know that this is Turbo's Fort Tri-Life. And what you're going to find in here are rampart walls, buffer walls, border walls, uh, partition walls, exhilarated walls, and perfect walls. And my walls were erected assembled or put together by one of these four factors either spontaneously means that I brought them home and put them straight up and narrow wall or guided that's where I brought them home kind of put them on a the shelf and brought some more stuff home and then all of a sudden saw the magnificence and over time it was finished and then it just happened yeah that was whenever I'm in my own mode and I'm cleaning up and all of a sudden I needed all this stuff moved out of the way and I started forming it and moving it and whatever and then a wall developed. And then there's the dictated. This is when somebody was scrutinizing me and trying to eavesdrop and step over and take pictures and do harm whenever they said that change needed to be made. I always obeyed them. And I always made some changes. Those are dictated walls. All right. And I did them all by categorizations by their materials. Okay. Some of these were founded. How they were founded. I mean, some of this is made out of spoils. Some of it's made out of coals. Some of it's made out of repurposed. Some of it's made out of reused. Some of it's actually waste removal. Some of it's actually debris pickup. Some of it's opportuned. Some of it's actually just the action of cleaning up. Could be new. Could be used. And they're all completed in some kind of a purpose. They have something that's made them purposeful. Nonetheless, all have that purpose, yep. All right. All right. Some of them are made out of stone. Some of them are made out of glass. Some of them are made out of plastic. Some of them are made out of wood. Some of them are made out of foam. You know, sometimes it's a combination of them all. Sometimes it's just an appliance. It could be, you know, a fixture. It could be some kind of a, a device. These walls are made up of all of this stuff. All right, every space I have has a name. And I am planning to take you through my extravagant tour series number two, Turbo's Walls, starting with the street view in the outside 
and working my way into all of my spaces and then identifying all the walls in those spaces before I move to the next one. All of this is the solarium. Plastic gets replaced all the time. Storms come in. I got water coming through like you wouldn't believe in a lot of places to my advantage now because I've learned to channel it and collect it and use it. But nonetheless, I am excited to take you through the Turbo's Extravagant Wall series. Yes. Last but not least, I just want you to know. I don't even know what I had actually even thought I was going to say here. But nonetheless, here we go. This is Turbo's Ford. This is Tri Life. This is what I want you to see. So now you're going to know why. You're going to know how. And you're going to know uh, what. There you go. What is Turbo's life? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Be sure to watch in on these videos. I'm putting together everything I possibly can for you so that we do have a good communication and good entertainment and good kind of like broadcasts or whatever. But just be your best. Goodbye.